This is part two. And it's all about lab configuration demonstration. We're going to talk about more use cases. Use cases that they didn't teach you on other Python 4 Network Engineers course. And before we talk about ZTP or POAP, I will demonstrate a tool used to centralize device configuration. No need for Python scripts. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am your cloud and data center rockstar. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. I'm here in my Eve Enchi, and we have four Cisco Nexus 9000 switches. They're all running and connected to the management network, also connected to the Linux server. So here is an available third-party tool that we can use to centralize configuration and information gathering. It's called Multitab Putty or MT Putty. All I need to do is select all of the devices I want to access. Information such as IP address and credentials are all saved. So I'm going to right click and hit connect. And as you can see, all connected. Switch one, two, three, and four. I can run commands and this will be executed to all Nexus switches automatically. So we can do show VLAN and make sure send to all is selected. I'm now going to hit enter. And as you can see, it shows us that VLAN one is here because this is the default VLAN. Uh, we can also verify features enabled. So I will do show features and I'm going to filter a specific feature called port security. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, this feature is currently disabled because this is the default. Next is I will verify the configuration of a specific interface. So I will do show run interface ethernet one slash one. And look, the configuration of this interface is empty. And lastly, what I'm going to do next is I will just enter config because we want to go to the configuration mode. Okay. And again, this is executed to all Nexus 9000 switch. Next is I can also run series of configuration. And uh, to do this, I'm going to click this icon and it will open a small window. It's called send a script. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I will just copy and paste the available configuration I have here. Okay. And this is VLAN 10 and 20. This will simply create two VLANs. It will also enable port security and it will apply this configuration under interface one slash one, such as enable switch port, associate VLAN 10, enable port security, spanning tree port type edge, and it will also enable MAC address sticky port security. And lastly, we're going to verify this by running show VLAN, show feature, and show run interface if one slash one. And before I click send script, we need to make sure that the script is sent to all network devices. So I will just click send all or select all. Okay. And now I'm going to hit send script. And as you can see, the configuration is starting to run. Okay, and uh, let's verify all configuration of Nexus 9000 1, 2, 3 are identical. They have two VLANs, VLAN 10 and 20. What else? For security feature is now enabled and under interface E1 slash 1 has now switch port, access VLAN 10, spanning tree port type edge, port security. As you can see, we centralize the configuration information gathering without Python scripts. Oh, there is another available feature and it's called XMPP. To know more, kindly check the link on the description below. Zero touch provisioning, ZTP, or power on auto provisioning, POAP. 
It still depends which vendor you are using. Anyway, this solves the burden of box-to-box -box deployment because normally what you do first is you connect to the console of the network device. So you can change the management IP address and then you continue the network device configuration manually. In ZTP, we skip this process as it automatically provisions initial switch configurations such as IP addressing, hostname, uh, routing, banner, interface configuration, and many more. This saves workload by providing automated network configuration in a consistent network design. We are talking about spine and leaf topology. Automated configuration and information gathering. It can be simple as creating VLANs, disabling enabling interfaces, or disabling enabling features. It can be also more intelligent, or I would say more complex configuration, such as automating software updates, IP related configuration, routing, and tunnel configuration. ZTP or POAP, it's best for out of the box network deployment. Network devices with no existing configuration, no IP address, no host name, no nothing. So all you need to do is to connect the switch to the network, boot it up, and it will load configuration to every single network devices automatically. You can do this automation not only to one switch, but it can be 10, 20, or hundreds of network devices all at the same time. And I am back in my Eve NG. But now we have a new topology. It's all Arista, baby. We have an Arista management switch connected to a Linux server. But wait, where is our data center switches? Well, we don't want to configure the switches manually. It's boring. What we're gonna do is we're gonna provision the switches using ZTP. So let's begin. All I need to do is right click, select nodes, select Arisa VOS, and I'm gonna change the name to Live01. I'm gonna leave defaults and click save. Now we have our new node, Arista Live01. I am gonna connect this to our management switch. So it's asking us to choose interface of Live01. I'm gonna select management one. From the management switch, I'm gonna select it one. Now, because this is the first switch. For Leaf 2, we should connect it to it 2. For Leaf 3, we should connect it to it 3. Okay, now I'm gonna select again it 1 and click save. Then I'm gonna right click and select start. I am going to click the switch and this will open a console. Now you can see it's booting up. And look at this. It says no startup configuration found and it's about to trigger ZTP. Look, it has downloaded our ZTP Python script file and this forced the switch to be rebooted. This may take some time, so let's wait. So what's the best thing to do while waiting? I have an idea. Hit my music. Whoa, ho, ho. there you go. Now we can log in using our admin account and I will go to the privilege mode. I'm gonna do show run. And as you can see, we have configuration. We have aliases, we have host name, we have interface configuration. We also have a banner, management IP address, and we enabled API feature. You can automate provisioning up to hundreds of switches, but how? Open a web browser and type www.zurian.com. This will take you to the Zurian website. Click training and this will redirect you to the training webpage. 
here you will see various courses. You can filter Python related courses and now only Python related courses are displayed, such as Python for Network Engineers, Data Center, Use Cases. So I want to get device information or network statistics from multiple or even hundreds of network devices. I will not only run simple show commands and get the output, but we can also get a specific information from the output easily, uh, such as serial number, host name, specific name or specific IP address, etc. We can also push configuration as well, like VLANs, AAA configuration, interface configuration, and many more. Part two, done. Next, on the final part, we will talk about more intelligent automated configuration. We will also discuss network device integration to software applications in more detail.